We remember you, dear reader. Even if you do not remember us. You see, this is no ordinary book. Within these pages lives a hero. One who could determine all our fates. She needs a reader who knows just how important they truly are. Shall we begin? Every war in Moss begins and ends with the Five Glass. And on the Cinder Night, the Arcane tried to take them all. Sir Argus, commander of the King's Guard, sacrificed everything that night to ensure the King's Glass was safe. The Sprites, too, had their own glass to protect, and their great champion did so until his final breath. The story of his glass would resume much later when young Quill of the Clearing, out on one of her humble adventures, bound with the Sprite Champion concealed in death. When she showed... But Argus was captured by the Arcane, and so the starving Aduran came to Quill with a promise to lead her to her uncle. Quill knew of Starthings only from campfire tales of magic and mischief. Yet still, she decided to follow. Quill knew her uncle needed her, but not just her. You see, Quill was bonded by the glass to a reader, a soul whose gifts proved the perfect complement to the young hero. Together, they were twofold. <clears throat> they embarked on a perilous journey. The Arcane's pursuit was relentless, and Quill barely survived. A Durin, who had become a friend of sorts, was not as fortunate, ending up in the jaws of Sarfog. Sarfog was the Arcane's most ruthless general, and at the very gates of the castle seized on that cinder. But the Arcane do not end with Sarfog. The one who leads them will not relent until the five glass are in their clutches. And that will unravel this world. Our fate rests with Quill. She needs a true partner by her side. And we hope that is you, dear reader. searched the castle entrance for her uncle's sword. He'd insisted they'd never reach the King's Glass without it. 
Quill was shocked to find it hiding in plain sight. She must have missed it last time around. After all, she'd been a bit preoccupied. Together, we can accomplish anything, said Quill, looking up to her reader. I couldn't have defeated this monster without you. Cute Thank you thing. for being here with me. She left Uncle Argus alone for too long. He could be in grave danger. They had to hurry. Her poor uncle was too injured to defend himself should the Arcane find him again.
Uncle Argus. Quill was relieved to find him safe. You found my sword. You wouldn't believe where it was. You know, I never realized just how huge Sarpod was. Shh. Lower your voice, Quill. We're not safe. He could be anywhere. The king's glass hides beneath the throne. We must move quickly and quietly. Your reader. Are they still here? Yes, uncle. They're right by my side. We're twofold. We aren't afraid of the arcane. I see. He said with a hint of pride. <clears throat> now, keep your ears open and your sword ready. We must get to the throne. No sign of the arcane here. That's what worries me. I can't see you, but I know you're up there, reader. Please, she's in your hands now. Huh? Uh, looks good, better. You're far too important to risk yourself for me. The greater good must always come before matters of the heart. Quill didn't understand. Oh, you can just tell on the screen it looks better. But she knew better than to argue. This is part two of that cute little game we played last time. I mean, when we first got this. The little mouse one. We have. Yeah, you could look at them close. See? Yeah, she got shy. Look. <laughs> she wants to give me a high five. <laughs> Is the screen playing anything? Is it making any noise? Well, you heard it before, right? No, I mean, is there sound coming out at all? You do hear that, right? Okay, so it's just low. You like how she's right behind me? Go on ahead. 
I'll stay a few steps behind. Yeah, that's it. That's the echo. You focus on getting to the throne. I know. I would have been dumb. Fucking cry. I saw it. I was just like, oh. <laughs> Do